Hi, I'm John Hayden. I'm from AirLogic. This is our test setup. We're demonstrating how our, some of our AirLogic products work today. This is our model cordless engine. We like to use this to demonstrate how our products work. It's a nice visual representation of the flow rate and just the upstream circuit that's working. This could be any device, no matter what you're working on. If you have a pneumatic system, I think you'll understand how to integrate these products after you see them work. What we're doing today is we're monitoring the upstream air pressure. So right now you can see this valve is off, the system's not running, and you might want to know in your system if the upstream air pressure is on or not. Some pieces of equipment, especially I've seen ones in hospitals where they need to know before they turn anything on if they have upstream air pressures. Here you can see the green light is on, so that means I'm safe to turn on my device. My device runs, everything's good. So then let's turn off the uh, upstream air pressure. You can see we get a red light here. And we're gonna close the valve. So now our system's not running. We know our valve is closed, but we wanna know if the upstream air pressure is on. Are we good to turn the valve on or not? So here we can see, oh, nope, we're still red, can't turn on. And if I open that up, I get a green light. I can tell I got upstream air pressure. Good to turn the device back on. Give it a start. So there you go, nice easy way. Use a pressure switch upstream of your valve to make sure that you have upstream air pressure. We have all types of different pressure switches uh, from amperage ratings to pressure ratings to mounting styles that integrate into different devices. Thank you for checking out our video on how to monitor your upstream air pressure.